Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. To add up numbers that match one or more conditions, use the SUMIF or SUMIFS functions. They can even handle multiple criteria and wildcards. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to use them. Let's start with a simple example of when to use SUMIF. During the week, I work on two projects and for billing purposes, I need to track how much time I've spent on each one. So in F5, I need a formula to calculate the number of hours spent on project 123. And that formula will be the sum if function. So I type equals sum if open brackets and the sum if function takes three parameters, each one as usual separated by a comma. The first parameter is the range. Now it's not the range where the numbers are. It's the range that contains the criteria, which in this case is B5 to B15. The second parameter is the actual criteria. And in this case, it's project one, two, three. Now I can either type project one, two, three and put it in double quotes inside the formula, or I can select cell E5 because that's got project one, two, three in it. And the third parameter is the cells that contain the numbers to be added up, which is column C. So what I'm seeing there is the total number of hours that I've worked on project one, two, three. Let me do that again for project four, five, six. So equals sum if open brackets, the range is B5 to B15. The criteria I can pick up from E6 because I'm looking for project 456 in column B. And the third parameter is the range with the numbers in that I want to add up, which is C5 to C15. For the second demo, columns A to F contain details of ice cream sales for January 22 and the data goes down to row 199. In I4, I want to display the revenue generated from whichever sales rep is in H4. And to make it easier, I've put a drop down list in H4. So I'll go to I4 and use the sum if function. Equals sum if open brackets, F5 to F199, that's the range with the sales rep's name in. The criteria can come from H4 and the numbers that I want to add up can come from E5 to E199. So that shows me that Adam has generated just over £8,000. If I change the criteria to Paula, it shows me how much money Paula has generated and so on. In I5, I want to display revenue from high value orders, which in this company are orders where the revenue is over £200. So again, I'll use sum if equals sum if open brackets. The criteria range is column E, E5 to E 199. The criteria itself is any number in that column that's greater than 200. And that has to go in double quotes because I'm using the greater than sign. And the third parameter is the sum range, which is also column E, E5 to E199, because that's the column with the numbers to be added. So that shows me that revenue coming from orders over £200 is £13,500. And finally, let me show you an example of sum if with a date. I want to get the revenue from the orders for the 2nd of January. That is going to be a fixed date within the formula, but in reality, this could be a variable date that's selected by the user. So equals sum if open brackets. The range in this example is column B. It's B5 to B199. The criteria 
is the date and that has to go in double quotes the 2nd of January 2022 because my computer's configured as UK format I'm using the UK format date and the third parameter is the cells with the numbers to be added which is E5 to E199. This third example is all about the cost of company mobiles and will focus on wildcard characters. The asterisk is used to represent one or more unknown characters. So, for example, iPhone asterisk means that the cell starts with the word iPhone and is followed by zero or more characters. But to refer to all the pro models, the word pro, as you can see, could appear at the end of the cell entry or somewhere within the cell. So for that one, I would need to use asterisk pro asterisk, which means any characters followed by the word pro followed by any characters. And the any characters can actually include nothing. So that covers the word pro appearing at the end or even at the start. So I'll go to G5 and here I want to calculate the cost of renewing all the iPhones. So that will be a sum if the range that contains the criteria is column B. The criteria itself is iPhone asterisk and because that's text has to go in double quotes and the sum range is the cells with the numbers in, which is column D. To calculate the cost of renewing all the pro models, it's going to be very similar. So I'll use a sum if. The range that contains the criteria is again column B. The criteria itself is asterisk pro asterisk and the range that contains the numbers to be summed is column D. In G8, I need to display the cost of iPhone renewals in April 22. For accounting and cash flow purposes, renewals happen on the last day of the month. So in other words, what I want to do is add up the numbers in column D where column B contains the word iPhone and column C contains 30th of April 2022. Now, where you have multiple criteria and all criteria need to be satisfied, you need to use a different function. And that function is sum if S. Now, there is a difference here in that the first parameter will actually be the range containing the numbers to be added, whereas sum if the third parameter is the one that contains the numbers to be added. So I'll put sum if s open brackets and you can see that the sum range actually comes at the beginning for this one. So select column D then a comma. And then we have the criteria range and the criteria in pairs. So the first criteria range is column B. And the criteria is iPhone asterisk. And then the second criteria range is column C. And the criteria itself is the 30th of April 2022. And because that's a date that has to go in double quotes. For this example in G9, I need to display the cost of renewals of any phone for 2022. And again, I'll use sum if s. And the reason I'll use sum if s is because there's going to be multiple criteria. The renewal date must be on or after the 1st of January and before or equal to the 31st of December. So sum if s open brackets. First of all, select the sum range and then criteria range one is going to be the dates and the actual criteria is going to be greater than or equal to the first of the first 2022. The second criteria range will also be the cells with the dates and the criteria itself will be before or equal to the 31st of the 12th, 2022. 
and you can keep going with as many criteria as you like. In fact, for the next example, the final example, I need to calculate the cost of iPhone Pro renewals in 2022. So here we're actually going to have four criteria and all four have to be satisfied. So it's got to be a sum if S. The sum range is the cells with the numbers in. The first criteria is going to be iPhone. So first of all, I need the range where I'll find iPhone and then I need the criteria itself. Then I need to search for Pro. And again, that will come in the model column and the criteria itself is star pro star, as I explained previously. The third criteria is going to be on or after the 1st of January 2022. So the criteria range will be the dates and the criteria itself greater than or equal to the 1st of January 2022. And finally, we are searching for a date that is also before the 31st of January 2022. So the range is the cells with the dates and the criteria itself is less than or equal to the 31st of December 2022. So that's how to use the sum if and some if s functions to add up numbers that match one or more conditions. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know by leaving a comment below the video. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel and you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.